What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and first I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's been subscribing. This channel is starting to do really well and I really appreciate it. But today we're going to be unboxing or unenveloping a new product uh, so that we can torque on the trail. Alright guys, so if you've been watching the channel you know that I've unboxed a few products from Pro Bike Tool Company. And I've been very happy with those. So I actually have two more today. I'm gonna to open up one. Uh, if you guys saw the name of it, this is their new T Torque Wrench. Uh, so let me open this up for you so we can see what's in here. And you guys know that I'm always gonna comment on the box. So that's gonna be one of the most important things for me when I first pull it out. <laughs> what does it look like? And man, this, uh, they always do a great job. I've been really happy with all their products, all the boxings that they have. You know, I don't need a box that costs a lot of money or anything like that, but it's nice to have something that looks nice so you know you're getting a quality product. So this is from Pro Bike Tool. That's the name of the company, and if you guys aren't familiar, even though maybe you've seen some of my videos, uh, just a little background on them. The founder, Chris, actually left his corporate job to pursue a passion in cycling, and that passion is to kind of give back to the people. And what he's doing is that he's trying to make very quality products at an accessible um, price. So, you know, I'm not gonna say that they're cheap. I mean, they still cost a few bucks, but compared to the same product from a big name brand that's really well known out there, um, these are coming in at a really decent price and you're getting a really quality product. I, I, I did the, um, Torque wrench, the two to 20 Newton meter. And that was really nice. I also have their bike pump on my bike, uh, which is really nice. But let's get into this one and talk a little bit about this product. So this is actually their T torque tool is what they call it. So this is gonna be a four, five and six Newton meter torque wrench. So it's only four, five and six. You're saying, okay, you have the two to 20. Why do you need this one? So this is going to be for on the go. This is going to be for, I can throw it in my car, I can throw it in my bag. Maybe you can put it in a small bag on your bike so that you can bring it on the trail with you. So if anything loosens up, instead of just kind of jacking it down and hoping that you got it right, you can actually get the proper torque. So you can see here it has four, five, and six. I haven't used this yet. I just opened it. So the way that it's supposed to work is that I pull out and I turn and it should lock into place. Wow, that's really nice. So this is a really nice product. Uh, you, I, you could probably hear it snap. So let me do that again. I'm gonna go back to the five, or the four. And then let me go over to the, oh, that's why. So I gotta turn this way to the five, and then I gotta keep turning this way to the six. So this is really nice. Let's just open up the instructions that came with it also so you guys can see it. Okay, they have a good warranty. If you have any problems with them, you email them. And I've seen people post about it. I haven't had any problems, but if you do, they will give you a refund or they'll replace the tool. Uh, here's some instructions. Uh, doesn't, there's not too much to it. Uh, the good thing about this is that versus the other torque wrench that I have, uh, there's no having to kind of configure it right from the start to make sure that it's accurate. This is a highly accurate four, five, and six Newton meter tool. So it's perfect for carrying with you for quick fixes on the trail uh, or on the side of the road. Like I said, throw it in your car, throw it in your bag, bring it with you. It comes with eight interchangeable Allen and Torx bits. So these are gonna be the most common bits that you use on your bike. Um, for you guys out there, some of these can actually be used on like your ATV and stuff also. And four, five, and six is gonna be one of the, mo the, the three most common torque settings for bike bolts that you have on your bike. So it makes it pretty nice. And so, you know, I've seen, I have some that are like a seven for me if I'm on the trail, you know, I'll make sure it's at a six and maybe give it an extra little twist and you should be good to get back to the car. I mean, that's the important part, but four, five, and six are gonna be the most common. So that's why they have that. Okay, so this one is really cool. So I like this because it came in the red. They also have this in all black. I actually really like the red. So that's why I got this one. Um, and then this is a PVC dipped coating that's on here. So you can feel this, you want a light tool, but you want a tool that doesn't feel cheap. So, and that's exactly what you get here. This is a quality tool. You can actually feel the heaviness of it, that it is made of metal. Um, you know, if I drop this, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. 
and it feels really nice, but at the same time, it's not super heavy. So throwing it in my bag isn't gonna do too much. Um, this is actually a quarter inch uh, socket here. So these fit in, I'll just pull this out real quick, uh, put it in and good to go. Very cool. So it's also ergonomically shaped for the best grip. Uh, grip it like this and turn. It's not gonna fit that way. You know, you want kind of your two fingers here and one there. And you're gonna be able to just twist it. So this is, I, I really like this. This is actually really nice. Um, let me go back to the four, but you can hit, hit this. You can hear that snap in. Um, so I have a new microphone on here. It's the Rode Wireless Go. I hope, I hope you can hear that snap. So let me put this back. The other cool thing is that this is supposed to fit right on here and not come off so that you can carry it like that. Uh, it fits in there pretty good. Um, I don't think it's magnetic or anything. It does kind of pop in a little bit. I mean, I'm not kind of doing anything like that. Even if this came off in the bag, these are in here really tight. I don't know if you saw me try and pull that off before. So the bits that are in here, the hex is a hex 2, 2.5, and then 3 through 6. So 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's a T25 and a T30. Um, but this product is, I mean, just from feeling it right now, this is a quality product that I'm very happy with so far. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this and just try it out on one of my bikes. Um, just so you guys know, last time I kind of torqued something down and someone was like, oh, you shouldn't torque that bolt without torquing the other bolts. Totally understand. Right now, all I'm going to do is bolts that are already torqued down just to make sure that the settings are correct, right? And some of them might be a little bit loose, so if they tighten a little bit, that doesn't mean that this is off. It just means that I haven't really uh, adjusted those bolts recently. So let's take a look at that now and uh, we'll see how it does. All right, guys, I've been playing with the tool off camera. Um, just so you know, I, the, the red and black goes well with the scheme that I have on my bike. Not that coloring really matters, but it's pretty cool that uh, the red and the black go well together. My wife has the red pedals also, um, but we're gonna use my wife's bike for this test because it's a little bit easier to see what we need to. Also, I'm gonna link in the description um, where you can purchase this off of Amazon. So in case you guys wanna get it for yourself, I think it's a really great tool. Um, so that'll be in the description. So first I'm gonna pop this off and I need the four for here. And we're gonna just slide this up. Before you guys saw me kind of pull it out, I realized it's better if you slide it up, it comes out easier. And then when you push it back in, it locks in rather than kind of pulling this plastic piece out. Um, that's actually the three. So let's get the four, pop this in. We are the white arrow, the white line. We're on four Newton meters. We're gonna put it right in the top. This is a four Newton meter torque. So this should just pop. Let's, let's listen. Yep, so that popped, so that's perfect. Now on the side, this side one up here actually says 5.2, but we're gonna set it to five. Let it pop. Okay, we're gonna put it in the side here. And let's see. Yep, perfect, okay. And this one's a seven in the front. These are sevens, but I'm going to set it to six just to make sure that we're good. We're set to six now. Front and yep. And we are all good. So this tool is, I mean, it just feels like a quality tool. I mean, moving it, it's very smooth, but it's, it's stiff, but in a good way and smooth. It locks in and pops really nice. Uh, these bits are very nice. They fit perfectly in there. And then this all locks together in one package. I do like that you can get in the red. Obviously, you know, I kind of use that coloring scheme on my bike. So that's perfect. This PVC coating is also really nice to hold on to. I can see how it's a non-slip. But I really like this tool. I'm definitely going to use this. I'm going to be throwing this in my backpack. I always bike with a backpack. It has water in it and stuff also. So this is going to be really nice. I have it in my car. have it in my bag carry it on the trails with me. It's perfect for emergency purposes. Um, you know, why, why do you need to torque? Something like this, like your handlebars, especially the guys who have really expensive like carbon handlebars, you don't wanna 
pull these down too tight. You'll see there's space in here. If you bolt them down too tight, it actually disforms the bars. And for the carbon, I believe it can actually crack it. I don't have carbon handlebars, but for those guys that do have the money and the really nice bikes with that, you wanna make sure that you're not over tightening. And I am one that has always over tightened things working on stuff, so I need a torque wrench. So this is perfect for on the go for me. All right guys, so the link's gonna be in the description to this. Again, this feels like a really nice tool, really nice quality. Easy to hold, very small, very light. Throw it in my pocket, throw it in my bag, throw it in the car, pull it out on the trail, get done when I need to get done and keep it moving. Um, I think that's the most important piece for this. It's just on the go. Uh, if you're a road cyclist, obviously on the side of the road, this would be perfect too in case you have a problem. But guys, if you can, subscribe to the channel. The channel's been growing, been very happy. I'm gonna have more stuff. I actually have another product from Pro Bike Tool that I'm gonna be unboxing pretty soon. That's probably gonna be my next video, along with some other things that are coming up. So if you can, subscribe to the channel. If you like this, there's gonna be a lot more. There's gonna be more stuff with my ATV and a lot of other things. So I will talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching.